Good morning, everybody. Mike Vaki, Princeton Trader here for Mr. Top Step with your Friday morning pre-market webcast. Okay, yesterday, you know, yesterday was an interesting day. Uh, I've got the daily chart open here, and you see this candle. And guys, there's nothing, nothing um, bearish about this candle at all. Um, you know, the the reality is we punched up to 1468. We got we saw a couple red days after that, and what we really needed to see was a reversal. And you got a topping toppy type candle here, and you so you could see that 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 58 level is getting rejected, and the bears made their push yesterday, but they just couldn't hold it, and they couldn't hold 47, then they couldn't hold 50, uh, you know, in 50, 50, 25, 50 half is that 23 percent retracement level, which was so sticky uh, in here. And you know we ended up closing pretty much near the highs, and what you've had after hours is follow through. So we broke through the daily three-day pivot area yesterday that I talked to you about. You know, when those two pivots are that close together, they tend to be price magnets. And we've got more today, and we'll talk to that, talk about that when we get on the 15-minute chart. But you know, we got down to 43 quarter, and it just it, it wasn't sustainable. And the bears at this point. Well, two things. Number one, about yesterday, it was too much too fast. They got so excited about finally going down that it wasn't sustainable. And the dip buyers came in and just ripped it. And and the bears are so skittish right now because of all the pain they've endured for the last hundred and you know, hundred and whatever handles that the as soon as anything looks like we're headed higher they're gone because they've been hit so many times so hard they are so tired of being in pain that they can be squeezed so easily right now and it's still until they find some conviction somewhere and the only place they're gonna find conviction is in some type of news and it has to be more than QE3 is a bad idea in the long term well of course it's a bad idea in the long term I mean, I think everybody agrees there. I think even Bernanke would agree that in the long term, this probably isn't the best thing for us, but he would say that it's what we have to do now. I don't know if I necessarily agree with that, but it's what he thinks. And he's the head of the Fed and I'm not, so he wins. But, you know, some piece of concrete news will end this dynamic. And until that happens the bears are not going to find any conviction because they have no conviction within themselves because they've just had the absolute snot kicked out of them for so long okay let's look at the 15 minute chart talk about today okay here's the 15 and you know and, and that that little blurb that, that little spiel there about the bears I mean that sounds a little bit like a psychology lesson but if you don't think trading the markets is all about psychology you know I I mean it it just is. It's 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 crowd it's crowd mentality. I don't care how many algos or HFTs or button pushing computers you want to talk about. At the end of the day, it's supply and demand, and it's it's people freaking out. Um, so because somebody has to program those things, they're not programming themselves. This isn't Skynet. Um, okay, so the current trade is fourteen fifty seven half. Um, you see down there forty three half, and then a squeeze. They had one chance here uh, up at 53, and when that couldn't hold, they were done. So today, we've made what's potentially a higher low in the overnight up at uh, 1460 quarter, a higher low versus 1468 on the daily, but only a lot of time is going to play that out. I'm just saying it's, it's there. And I'm saying it's potential because you've got lower high, lower high okay on the 15s I mean this isn't a one minute chart it's a 15 minute chart so there's a couple lower highs here to look at we have another daily and three day pivot zone 1450.83 to 14.52 quarter I fully expect this area to be touched today I don't uh, I, I, I expect it to be touched I expect it to be bounced off of the issue then becomes an RTH after we bounce off of this level do we get a lower high that then can open up lower lows back down to the 1447, 1448 level, which is which is the level that's really critical. Okay, let's do quick support and resistance. 
Current trade, 14.57 half. On the upside, 14.58, 14.62, 14.64 quarter, the 68 swing high, and then 73, 77, and 82 half. On the downside, uh, you've got this zone here, triple zone from 52 quarter to 50.65, and 50.65 is that 23% retracement of the uh, of the current move uh, that's been so sticky. Underneath there, you've got the nine-day pivot, 1447.83, then 43. 40, 38, 80, and 32. So everybody have a fantastic weekend. Mike Bakke, Princeton Trader for Mr. Top Step. I'll be back Monday morning with another webcast. Trade them well, everybody.